everyone. Thanks again for joining us on the show today. My name is Bill Fairman. We're with Carolina Capital Management. We this is my are. lovely sister. Thank you. That's much better. Wendy Sweet. She's <laughs> also my partner. So today we're going to talk about the biggest loan we ever did. No, the first but, big loan. We well, the first did. big loan we ever it's been did. A lot more bigger than that now. <laughs> so one of the things that we do here is we lend money for people that are doing fix and flips and buy and holds mm -hmm. and value add new construction uh, apartment complexes. Mm -hmm. You can find out more information on that at carolinahardmoney.com. When you, the page pulls up, you can either just hit the button that says apply now, or if you just have some questions you want answered, we have an ask an expert tab that you can click on That's right. and it'll just shoot us an email and somebody will. We'll try to find an uh, expert to answer it for you. Yeah. <laughs> We'll call some friends. Yeah. <laughs> Phone a friend. We've got, we've got a lifeline or two left. <laughs> so we had a customer that went into a, a neighborhood that was really seriously up and coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure uh, and, and you know, we're in the Charlotte market and the, this was, you know, 2012 and the market was just starting it to take off. It was just here. starting to boil. Mm -hmm. And we were approached with, I mean, it was a, it was a huge loan for us. When we started in business, our average loan size, 60, $65,000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this one was in uh, our portion of the loan was in the 600,000 yeah, range. It was so it scary, was, scary. it was pretty scary for yeah, us, it was. Uh, but it was, uh, it, it appraised for more than we thought. And he was a builder and the guy, an experienced builder. The guy was an experienced builder. And he was just moving to a new area. Had plenty of money in the bank. He had great credit scores. He was a great, really good risk. Yeah. So we took the plunge mm -hmm. and a lot, everything was going, <laughs> everything was going <laughs> swimmingly. That's he got good. the house under contract, right? <laughs> he did. And it was many bedroom. Well, it wasn't many bedrooms. It wasn't many bedrooms. <laughs> he had actually built a library mm -hmm. in there. And the, the person that, you know, wanted to buy the house, had it under contract, took a $10,000 mm -hmm. deposit, mm -hmm. but that person wanted to take the library and now turn it into a bedroom. Right. So I had to do some extra work, put in some walls, you know, add a closet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a bedroom without That's a closet. Right. That's right? right. And after he completed all the work, ready to sell the house. She backed out. She changed her mind. Yeah. Which is a woman's prerogative. That's what we do. And what was the downside for our borrower? Well, he uh, he he was stuck with a house that didn't have the library and now had the bedroom. And oh, that wasn't bad. He had ten more thousand dollars left over, didn't he? And his loan lasted a whole lot longer than he had hoped it would. And what was the consequences of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, in our market at the time, remember, it was just beginning to boil, so the price range of all the houses around were just increasing, increasing. So that was really okay, in you're not getting favor. my hint, Wendy. Okay, we'll just say it. <laughs> well, there's a maturity date on our loans, is there not? Well, that's a, no, <laughs> no. Do we have that? Yes, <laughs> and that time I think it was nine months too. It wasn't Yeah, we weren't doing twelve yeah. month loans, we were doing nine months. That's but right. His loan was going to have to go into an extension. Mm. And when you go into an extension, you have to pay additional points for the extension of the 90 day period. Mm -hmm. Two more course, points. And remember, this is a $600,000 house. So that was a pretty, that's pretty cash. 2% of the 600,000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is what it's costing. Plus, you know, 12 mortgage payments, dollars, which was more than to a continue 10 this. Yeah. Now, now go. What, what ended up happening? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think Every, I said it all the so, first time. The, so the market sky, was going up. <laughs> yeah. The, so the sky was falling in. Uh, he's making mortgage payments on a house that uh, someone backed out on. He had extra expenses. Made all those moving, changes. Moving the walls and uh, making the closet. He was mad he at us. He didn't get $10,000, but that didn't cover his extension yeah, fee. Yeah. He was mad at us because of the date. And, uh, <laughs> but as it turns out, he ended up getting a contract there shortly after mm -hmm. the price was increased by 20,000 because the market was really on a, on an up swing at the right, time. Right. And then, so he ended up making more money and then selling the house and everything was great. That's right. 
again, that happens in, in up markets and you have to be careful in anything you're doing in real estate because markets change. Yes. It could have had the same effect. The market could have gone down and now it'd have been upside down. That's right. And it's just but, as likely that that can happen at any time. And it's more likely that that's going to happen these days. Right. But my rose colored glasses always want to do the, <laughs> they are pretty, the success stories <laughs> <laughs> and not the sky is falling in story. So this worked out great for him. Uh, he still made, plenty of money on this thing, more than he thought mm -hmm. in the first place. And he came out smelling like a rose. That's right. But as lenders, we were sitting in a great position either way. Sure. Because we knew yeah. we were going to get our renewal fee and the market's still going up. Right. And, um, and our investors are, are protected. That's right. Because when we make a loan, we have a typically a 30% or more cushion. That's right. Between the value of the home and what we lend on. And that 30% was increasing because yep. the values were increasing. So Absolutely. that was a really good position for us so to be in. So if you're an experienced builder or borrower, real estate investor, mm -hmm. we would love to talk to you about seeing if we can help you on the lending side of things. Now there's plenty of uh, avenues for lending in this space mm -hmm. where you don't want all your business. We just want to be one of your tools in your toolbox. Right. We encourage people to look for private lending as well, mm -hmm. but private lenders do not have infinitely deep pockets. Well, sometimes people use all of those means for the same deal. Right. And then at the same time, banks are a good way to go, but mm -hmm. banks do not have the speed that companies like ours do. So if you're interested, again, we said, carolinahardmoney.com. Click on either the apply now or ask an expert and we'll find one for you. Um, you got anything else to add? <laughs> Can I think of an expert answer? I don't know. I'll have to think on All that right. one. So I was going to, I was going to throw this to you, but make sure you share and like, Yeah. <laughs> we have some video archive. Where would that be? Wendy? It's here or here or here or over there, depending on the platform. Right. And, uh, what else? Oh, carolinahardmoney.com is the web address That's right. where you can find us. We're Bill and Wendy, Carolina Capital Management. Have a lovely day. So thank you so much for joining us. If you really like what you heard, you want to see some more, switch over here or <laughs> here or perhaps there. There's more episodes, but they're somewhere. Yeah. I think Click they're, it on. They're up. By the way, subscribe and like us as well. Please.